Introducing the Unfranchised Marketing App. Here is a walkthrough tutorial video to help you understand the app better. To download the Unfranchised Marketing App, visit your iOS App Store or Google Play Store. Search for Unfranchised Marketing App and click to download. After you have downloaded the Unfranchised Marketing App, click on the app to launch it. And it will show you the homepage where you have to key in your username and password using your unfranchise.com email or rep ID. After you have key in, click on Login. Once you have successfully logged in using your username and password, the next thing you want to do is to update your profile. To do so, click on the bottom right button that says More and select My Profile. You will come to this page where you can select the first option that says My Info. Over here, you will be able to see your personal information such as your name, email address, phone number and personal address. You may choose to include a short bio of yourself as well. To upload a profile picture, click on the camera icon and you will be able to select to take a photo or choose a photo from your current photo library. Once done, click on Save. After you are done with updating My Info, you may want to change the language within the app. Click on Market and Language. You will come to this page where there are two languages where you can change. Click on Content Language and you will come to this page where you can toggle between English or Chinese Simplified. Similarly for Display Language, click on it and you will be able to toggle between English and Chinese Simplified as well. The content language is the language of the content that you want to send to your customers. For example, if you have a customer who is more proficient in Chinese, you may want to switch your content language to Chinese Simplified so that the content sent to them will be in Chinese. The display language on the other hand is the main language displayed within the app for you to navigate around. If you are more proficient in Chinese, you may change your display language to Chinese Simplified so that it's more comfortable for you. After you are done with updating my profile and choosing your preferred language, the next thing we want to do is to update our settings. To do so, click on the bottom right button that says More and select Settings. Over here, the important thing we want to do is to go to Notifications that's labelled under Feed. Do remember to put allow push notifications so that you will receive notifications when customers click or view your content. Under the settings page, you will also be able to check which version of the app that you are using. To do so, simply scroll down to the bottom and you will be able to see the version number of the app. It is important to note to update wherever a new version is available so that you will be able to enjoy all the great new features, fixes and security. At the bottom of the settings page, there are also three options available, namely clear cache, logout or to delete your account. To clear cache, simply click on it and you will be prompted to clear cache. Once your cache is cleared, you will actually be logged out from your account. Re-login again using your email or rep ID and password to access the app. There are many great media and product information within the Unfranchised Marketing app. To share them with your customers, we must first add your contacts list to the app first. Click on the bottom human icon that says Contacts. This is the page where all your contacts will appear. You are able to sync all of your contacts or select certain contacts that you want to be within the app only. Click on the Select Contacts option to be able to select which customers you want to add to your app. Search for the name of the customers and click on Sync. Once done, click on Done and your contact will be appearing in the app. The app also allows us to add in our contacts manually. 
To do so, click on the plus sign icon on the top right corner of your screen. And you will be able to key in information such as your name, phone number, email address, your ringtone, etc. for your contacts. Once done, click on Done. Syncing your contacts can also be done from the settings page. Click on the bottom right button that says More and click on Settings. Under Contacts, you will be able to see Sync Device Contacts, so we click on it and you will be prompted with three options to sync all contacts, selected contacts only, or no sync. The second option is the display order, where we are able to choose which name to display according to our own preference. The last option is hidden and delete, where we are able to hide our contacts or delete all contacts. After we have seen our contacts, we want to refresh our contacts page. To do so, simply pull down the screen and you will see a loading icon. Once it's going up automatically, it means to say that the refresh is being done. Next, we are also able to organize our contacts list into hot and cold prospects respectively. To do so, if you want to in indicate a particular contact as hot, all we have to do is to swipe right and there will be a red icon alongside the name. To indicate a contact is cold, we can swipe left and the blue icon will be indicated over there. Alternatively, we can also click on the second icon that's on the top right corner of your screen. We can swipe to indicate that it's either hot or cold. Once we are done, click on Done. We are also able to view all of the hot and cold prospects list by clicking hot and cold on top. To view your hot prospects list, click on hot and it will automatically filter all the contacts that you have indicated as hot. Similarly for cold, when we click on it, we will be able to see all the cold prospects that you have indicated previously. After we have seen our contacts, we are able to send our media to our preferred customers. But first, let us personalize our media page. Click on the top right button at the top of your screen, and you will be able to see all the brands that are available in your Unfranchised Marketing app. Simply switch it on if you want them to appear in your media page. We are also able to organize them in the particular order that we want. Simply tap on the three lines and drag it up or down. Once you are done, click Done. And then we want to refresh the page. To do so, simply hold and pull down the screen while the loading bars appears. You will see this loading page. And once it's done, all your media will appear again. There are many great product content that we can share with the Unfranchised Marketing app, such as videos, images, and other product materials. For instance, I would like to share an image by Layered. I click on it, and I will be able to send it via email, SMS, WhatsApp, or even upload to Facebook. To send an email, click on the email icon, and you will be able to select which contact you want to send it to. Do note to it, the contact must have an email address in it. If not, an error message will prompt. Similarly for SMS, I select the option and I can select which contact I want to send it to. For WhatsApp, click on the social icon and it will bring us to this page. We are able to use an example message that has been set to us by default. Do note that we want to make at least a 10% change to the example message or if we click copy, an error message will appear. Once we have created a unique message, click on copy and we are able to select where we want to send this message to. 
For WhatsApp, click on the WhatsApp icon and we will be able to select which contact we want to send. For instance, I would like to send it to Cheryl. Click on Next and I will paste the caption that I have written earlier. Once done, click on Send. Similarly to upload to Facebook, we search for the Facebook icon, we click on it and we are able to choose where to share such as your newsfeed, your groups or your story. If we want to post it to our newsfeed, click on newsfeed and we are able to paste the unique message that we have copied earlier. Once done, click on post. We can also add our own media to send to our customers. To add media, click on the middle button that says add media and we'll be able to select whether we want to add a video, image, website or PDF. To send an image, click on the image icon and select the photo that you want to upload. Scroll down and we will have to enter a title and a description so that we are able to save. We can also go to the advanced settings to select the media language and share whether we want to be made available exclusively to our team. Once done, click on save. To add on additional media, click on the plus icon that is beside my media. To upload a video, click on the video icon and select the photo or video that you want to upload. Similar as uploading an image, we will need to key in a title and a description. Once done, click on Next. We are also able to add some actions to our video such as link, media, shop, calendar or social. For instance, I would like to add in Facebook link. Click on social and select the Facebook icon. Type in the Facebook URL. And click done. We can select the duration of when we want the icon to appear. For this, we selected all video. To edit, click on click on the selection and select 20 seconds, 10 seconds or 5 seconds. Once done, click on done. We will also be able to place the icon at whichever placement that we want from the video. You can shift it to right or left. Simply click on the Facebook icon and drag it to the place that you desire. Once done, click on save. Once you have finished editing your video, click on the save button that's appearing on the top right corner of your screen. To delete one of the media, select the media that you want to delete and click on edit at the top right corner of your screen. You will be able to edit your media over here or to delete. To delete the media, click on delete image. You will be prompted that deleting this image will be removed from the app permanently and this action cannot be undone. The next important feature is your feed. To access this page, click on the middle icon at the bottom of your screen. In this page, you will be able to see the activities done by your customers. For example, Jeanette Chong has watched Moti's video shared via SMS and she has watched 90% of it. Cheryl Lee has visited a site. Do note, the tracking function is only available for email and SMS. If you send the content via WhatsApp, the app will not be able to trace whether the, your customer has clicked on the content or not. You will be able to set reminders for yourself for all these activities done. To do so, simply swipe right and there will be a green icon appearing on the left. You will be able to filter all these reminders by clicking on the top button that says Reminders. You can also set custom alarm 
to remind yourself to take an action. To do so, click on the clock icon that is appearing on the top right corner of your screen. Click on Add and you can select which date and which time to remind yourself to take an action. To indicate that an action has been done or to remove a particular reminder, all you have to do is to swipe right again and it will be indicated as done. You will also be able to filter which type of reminders you want to see appearing on your feed. To do so, click on the top right icon that is appearing on your screen. Over here, you can select to show all notifications or to filter which type of notifications you want to receive. Once done, click on Done. Under the Feeds page, you will also be able to access Market Singapore's Instagram page. To do so, click on the second icon at the top of your screen. You will be able to see all the latest posts here that has been posted by Market Singapore on their Instagram. Click on the post to view the post on Instagram directly. You can continue to choose to stay on this page or to switch to the app of Instagram if you have the app installed. Once done, click on Done. The last feature of the Unfranchised Marketing app is the Business tab. To access this page, click on the fourth icon that is appearing at the bottom of your screen. Over here, you can purchase the sample's credits, join a team by entering the team access codes, track the sample orders that you have sent out to your customers, get access to the back office, reports, tickets, learning center, and even Market Singapore's YouTube channel. You can also purchase apparel from this page as well. For instance, if you wish to purchase sample credits, click on Open, and you will be redirected to your unfranchised business account. You will have to log in over here again in order to purchase sample credits. The same goes to the back office, reports, tickets and learning center. You will have to re-log in again to using your rep ID or email address and enter your password to, add, to get access to the back office. Should you wish to view Market Singapore's YouTube channel, click on Open and you will be redirected to Market Singapore's YouTube page. Once done, click on Done. And lastly, the apparel page. It will actually bring you to shopufogear.com. In summary, with the Unfranchised Marketing app, we are able to get Prospect Activity Tracking System, build a hot and cold prospect list, get access to personalized sample websites, share product content, have an automated follow-up system via emails, SMS, and notifications. UFOs and customers can order individual samples, and we can send free samples to our prospects as well. Bring your unfranchised business to greater heights with the Unfranchised Marketing app. Download the app today.